Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And I'm here with my week six picks this week. Yeah, this week I had my coffee. So yeah, it's going to be week six picks that we're going to do this week. And as I, as usual, as I go through the games for the next, next week, for week six, I will recap in some small way what the teams involved did the week before. And we will have our, our usual things, although I will not have an upset special this week because a lot of these games are just really personally, they're just too close. So I can't really say that there's a, a team that I picked to win who would definitely be an upset. So I don't have an upset of the week, but I will have a lock of the week this week. So, with that, all of that having been said, let's get into this. Now, there will not be a Thursday night game this week because the Bills were forced into playing on Tuesday, and the Bills would have been the team that would have played on Thursday night. So, as luck will, would have it, they will not be doing that. They will instead, I believe, be playing late on Sunday in the next time. So, that makes the first game that we're going to talk about be the Texans at the Titans. And I am going to go with the Titans in this one. Yes, indeed, I am going with the Titans. I am not being fooled by the Texans' big win last week that they had. Unexpected as it might have been over the Jaguars. And um, the Titans are coming off a big win over the Bills. So, um, you know, that's why I'm going with the Titans. And also, uh, well... Yes, the, I, I, you know, I'll get to that. Because my stat of the week is involves a certain team. But when we get to them, I will bring that up. So, uh, the next one we've got is the um, Belkins at the Vikings. Now, this one, frankly, it's, you know, just flip a coin. But, uh, you know, the Vikings are home. They've shown some spunk lately. So I am going to go with the Vikings in this game. The, um, the Falcons are just a rudderless team. They're just spinning out of control. So they're, uh, <laughs> they're gone. So, yeah. I'm going to go with the Vikings there. Next one we got is the... Bengals at the Colts, and what I am going to do in this game is I think I'm just going to go ahead and pick the Colts. They have a great defense. They did uh, lose last week, I believe. I'm, well, I'm not even going to try to speculate because I don't remember who they lost to offhand. Um, I think it might have been the Browns. It was. It was the Browns that they lost to, but I'm still going to go with them. Because the Bengals, the Joe Burrow-led Bengals, are still not really, they're not really quite there. They're not quite there. So, yeah. We're, that's not going to happen. So, the next game we've got is the Bears at the Panthers. And yes, I am going... to shock everybody and I am going to pick the Bears to win this week against the Panthers. First week that I picked the Bears to win but I, I truly do think that they should beat Carolina because Carolina they have they've, they've shown some 
some bright spots, but the Bears have a good defense, and Nick Foles has shown that he can play well for at least one half of a football game. So, you know, let's give him that. I mean, uh, you know, got nothing else. So, uh, that's what we're, we're going with there. Um, so the next one we have is the the Ravens at the Eagles. And, uh, yeah, you know what? I watched that Ravens game last week. They didn't look that good. But I'm still going to go with them. Because they're playing the Eagles. And the Eagles made me look bad in my upset special. I had them all set to beat the Steelers. They played a good game for a lot of the game against the Steelers. But no, no, they couldn't do it. So get them out. So yeah, I'm going to go with... Uh, we're going to go with the Ravens there. The next one we've got is a team that keeps smoking my butt, and that is the Steelers against the Browns. And yes, I am going to pick against them again. I'm going with the Browns. I just <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? cannot go against the Browns. The Browns had, I mean, last week they beat the number one defense in the NFL when they beat the Colts. Two weeks ago they laid 49 points on the Dallas Cowboys. And the Steelers had to play a pretty close game with their cross-state rivals, the Philadelphia Eagles, for most of that game. So, I just, I'm not convinced. I'm still not sold on the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're okay and they play okay and they've played some pretty bad teams but i'm telling you once the steelers start playing some stiff competition they're going down and they might even be going down this this week and you know and that, i'm saying this as a guy who hates baker mayfield so if i'm picking him to beat the steelers i must really think they're going to beat the steelers which i do so now we've got uh, the. Now this is the game that I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up my stat of the week. We have the Lions at the Jags, and in this game, I'm going with the Lions. Uh, Matt Patricia is that his name? I know his last name is Patricia. He was on the New England coaching staff. Yeah, that dude. That guy's job is in in danger. So I think he is definitely going to have these guys motivated, and they just had the week off. So he's going to have them motivated and ready to play. But my stat of the week, and I am picking the Jaguars to lose, quite frankly, but here's my stat of the week. The Jacksonville Jaguars are the only team in NFL history to lose three consecutive games to three teams who came into the game winless. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Again, that's not something you want to put on your resume. You just don't want to do it. So, um, and I got that off of Facebook. My cousin put it up. And uh, so, yeah, thanks to him uh, for bringing that out. And, uh, you know, I... And, hey, any of you people out there watching... You want to give me a stat of the week, something, you know, that's uh, really a kind of a cool stat, you know, like how the um, how the Falcons had gone, um, what was it, they'd blown multiple 15-point leads and they were the only team to do that, and uh, the Jaguars, you know, three consecutive losses to teams with um, out a win. So, yeah, if you can bring bring me something like that, hey, love to have those little tidbits on the show. Um, and if you want full credit, I'll even say your name on the air. So, there you go. Um, okay, now we've got the... Uh, let's see, let me get this get the thing on there. We've got the Washington football team at the Giants. And um, in this particular game, you know what? I'm going with the Washington football team. Yeah, mark it down. 
I know, I know the Giants had a big win against Dallas last week. Um, no, they didn't. No, they did not, actually. They barely lost to Dallas. And Dallas had to bring in their second string quarterback because Dak, and this is another stat of the week, Dak is out for the rest of the year. He, um, he had a multiple multiple fracture of his ankle so he's going to be out four to six months and so the cowboys are going to be running with andy dalton for the rest of the way so you can read into that what you want but it's probably not going to be good reading so now let's see who we got here okay we got the broncos at the patriots now <laughs> you know yeah my garbage can's right over here. Yeah. The Broncos going in the garbage can. The Patriots are going to win that game. I mean, you just you know, take that to the bank. And uh, that's not even the lock of the week. The lock of the week is the next game. And this team is always involved in the lock of the week, but on the wrong end of it. So we've got the... We've got the Jets at the Dolphins. And I am definitely going with the Dolphins. Pick the Dolphins to win. That's my lock of the week. The Jets are always my lock of the week to lose. Doesn't matter who they play. They could play my, you know, they could play Vestal High School. And they probably wouldn't win. So, yeah, we're going to go with the Dolphins. And how about that big win last week that the Dolphins put on the 49ers? And who called that? Sportsman Z called that. So, yeah, I saw that one coming a mile away. So, now what we've got is a game that involves the aforementioned 49ers, and that will be the Rams and the 49ers. And, again, I just said they got steamrolled by Miami. And let's not put Miami in any kind of great, you know, juggernaut of a team. So, yeah, let's go with the Rams the Rams should easily beat the 49ers. And uh, at this point, I'm sure Terry Bradshaw is regretting before the season started, he went down the NFC West and he didn't mention the Rams. And then the host of the show said, you didn't mention the Rams. And Terry Bradshaw said, nor should I have. Well, <laughs> maybe it's the 49ers he shouldn't have mentioned. So now the next game we're going to is the um, Packers at the Buccaneers. And I am quite clearly going to take the Packers. The Packers are, you know, they could be a lock of the week on the other side. They'll always win. Because that's how they're playing. I mean, I don't, you know, I'm not happy about it. I'm a Bears fan. You think I'm happy that the Packers are always winning? But they are. And the Buccaneers, they still have their problems. They're a solid team, but, um, you know, Brady. All right, maybe, <laughs> maybe the garbage can is a little, maybe a little harsh to put them in the garbage can. But Brady is still learning that offense and, or... Arians is still learning his offense or something is going on there and they're not quite clicking. They should have beaten the Bears except that Brady didn't know what down it was. So, yeah. All right, so the next game we've got is, and this is, this is a hard one for me. Um, we have the, uh, the Chiefs at the Bills. Now, this is a hard one because... The Bills, I thought, would easily have beaten the Titans. All right, not easily, but they, I would have thought they would have beaten the Titans. Kansas City, I would have thought, would have easily beaten Las Vegas. But neither one of those things happened. So when that happens, who do you go to? Well, I'll tell you who you go to is the Bills. Yep, I'm going to the Bills because... I don't know. I just was not that impressed with Kansas City. I mean, it's almost like Kansas City can beat up on the weak sisters, but you put a, you bring a good team in there? I don't know. And they did beat Baltimore, but 
even Baltimore has shown that they're not really as good as what comes to your mind when you're thinking Baltimore Ravens. They're, they're not that Baltimore Ravens. So, our last game, our Monday night game, next Monday night is going to be the Cardinals and the Cowboys. And, uh, yeah, I'm going quite definitely with the Cardinals in this one. Before, you might have said Dallas, but Dallas now has the same crappy defense that they've had all year. But on top of having that same crappy defense, now they got Carrot Top running their offense instead of Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott, by the way, when he went down with his injury, Dak Prescott was on a pace to throw for over 6,000 yards, obliterating the previous record. And that's the only thing that was keeping Dallas competitive. Now, you don't have that. You got Andy Dalton. So now they have to go to more of a ball control offense so that they can keep the ball away from the other team because that's just what's going to have to happen. So now let me, um, you know what I didn't do at the top of the video, but I'm doing it now. I'm going to tell you what my record was last week. And last week I was eight and six. Now that's not an embarrassing record, but it's certainly not good. Eight and six. And that brings me on the year to 45 and 32. And that gives me a 584 pick percentage. It was 587, but of course, an eight and six week is just a notch down from that. So, I mean, a eight and six is like a 571 or something pick percentage. So that knocked me from a 587 to a 584, 58.4% right, as opposed to 58.7 the week before. So I need a good week with these picks is basically what we're boiling it down to. So um, what did you guys think of those picks? Do you like them? You think I should have put some more teams in the garbage can, thrown a few more away? Who knows? But um, yeah, leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Um, and, you know, your comments can include, like I said, the stat of the week. If you have a great stat of the week. And then, hey, let's let's hear it. I'm not going to go through my, uh, you know, teams that are killing me and teams that are doing great for me. I'll just do that every couple of weeks. No sense in boring you guys with that every single week. So that is going to be, that's my picks video for week six. And that's it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.